Hey everyone, it's Mar, and this video is kind of different from what my channel is. My channel is called Mar's Life, so it's about anything that happens in my life. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't have to be just about nails and acrylic nails and stuff. So this video is about olive oil and an experience I just went through, and I wanted to tell you about it and the, to beware of it, and I call it rancid olive oil. So I was cooking dinner about a week ago, and... I had used some olive oil and I went to go eat and it just tasted really, really funny to me like it was poisoned. It was kind of a sour, acidy taste and I couldn't figure out why. So I did a lot of research on olive oil and stuff and I wanted to bring this to everybody's attention, okay? So this is what the olive oil looks like. This is the kind that I use. It's extra virgin olive oil, okay? Now you see the color is dark green on there, right? So. <clears throat> How you can tell that olive oil is bad is by the color. This is a dark green. Now, if it turns to a lighter, light, light, light green, like a like a, a pastel light green, then you know that it's bad. It has to be dark like this, okay? And if it tastes sour or acidy, throw it out. It's bad. It will make you sick. And a lot of people don't know this, but olive oil goes rancid, especially the extra virgin olive oil it is the worst so if you're gonna use olive oil don't buy the big bottles like I do this is a big bottle it's 33.8 fluid ounces one liter buy the little small bottles of olive oil that way um, you don't waste it I'm gonna pause this for a minute okay okay sorry about that I was cooking and I had to pause it because I had something in the oven um, I was saying about the olive oil being rancid it can hurt you, um, it, it, it can't kill you or anything like that, but it can make your stomach upset and you'll get diarrhea and throw up and stuff like that. So if you're gonna get olive oil, get the smaller bottles, store it in a cupboard in a dark place. It has to be in a dark place, that way it doesn't go bad. And <clears throat> if you're gonna buy extra virgin, get the small bottles. Don't buy the big bottles because this is the worst kind to go rancid. I've been finding that out. Now this is a brand new bottle that I bought before I found all this stuff out, so I'm trying to use it up. But anyway, this is what it basically looks like. They come in different bottles, different sizes and shapes. So I just wanted to make people aware out there that olive oil can go bad and it can go stale and stagnant and rancid. And once it tastes rancid, oh my God, it leaves a horrible, horrible taste in your mouth. So like I said, buy the smaller bottles, store it in a darker place. And if your olive oil goes lighter green than this like a, a pastel green color or like a clear green color throw it out it's bad it has to look dark like this if it looks dark like this then you know it's a, a good bottle of olive oil and you can see on the back here and um i paid nine bucks for this olive oil so i'm trying to use it up um so if it looks like this then it's good but if it's a pastel green or a see-through green where you can see through the bottle and stuff, like it looks almost like clear water, throw it out, it's no good. And um, I paid $17 for the other bottle, which was bigger than this, and I just wasted 17 bucks. So buy the smaller bottles of it, use it when you can, keep it in a dark place, and I just wanted to make people aware that um, olive oil can go bad and it can make you sick. So on that note, I hope everybody has a great day, and peace out, people.